from 23 yards out. The Horn Frogs are right back in it. Waters. Jump ball in the end zone for Lockett. He's got it for the touchdown. Here's the kick from Overgrown. Plenty on it. He's knocked it down. And TCU wins it. Morgan Town tonight. Well, it could very well be the game that determines the Big 12 champion. Remember, this is the lone Power 5 conference without a league championship. Kansas State, the only undefeated squad in conference play. TCU's only loss to Baylor on the road. For some early insight to Saturday's showdown in Fort Worth, let's say hello to K-State insider John Kurtz. John, Jerron Boykin had his worst game of the year last week in that slop in Morgantown, but clearly the spread suits him well. What do you think the Cats' defensive recipe for success will be Saturday? Well, K-State's defense is your classic bend-but-don't-break defense. So they're a good bend-but-don't-break defense, but if Tom Hayes, the defensive coordinator, doesn't like to bring a lot of pressure, they're going to have the safeties back, and they're going to try and force you into turnovers or field goals in the red zone. They're actually the best red zone defense right now in the Big 12. They've only allowed seven of 13 trips to the red zone for opponents to end in points in Big 12 play, so they've been doing a good job with that. And one key is going to be to Corey Johnson at linebacker. He's their most athletic linebacker. He's been dealing with a high ankle sprain. If he can be in there and play close to 100%, he's the guy that will probably be responsible for watching Trevon Boykin trying to get outside the pocket. Well, on the injury front, John, let's turn to the offense and your quarterback and Jake Waters. Put him some terrific passing numbers despite the shoulder injury he's been dealing with for the last two-plus weeks or so, but not really running as much. What do you see the game plan being on that front against TCU? That's going to be really big because he was their leading rusher, actually, when he went down against Oklahoma and had to leave the game for a little bit, came back, but he's been dealing with an injury to his right shoulder, which is his throwing shoulder. It seems like he's throwing the ball fine, but he only has 33 rushing yards combined the last two weeks. Got a little bit better against Oklahoma State, but I think they have to use him somewhat because the rest of the running game is just very, very pedestrian. And another thing is just keeping him clean in the pocket because – TCU's defense, their front seven, is always very, very physical. K-State's offensive line is pretty average right now, so they've got to keep Jake Waters with a clean jersey and hope that that shoulder holds up the rest of the year. And TCU's certainly known for causing turnovers. Waters may be banged up, but he has not committed a turnover in the last five games. Uh, last year, Jack and Tally, the kicker, hit the game winner for K-State against TCU, but he's been replaced by Matthew McCrane, a freshman, after missing those three kicks against Auburn. John, how quick is this guy, you think, to handle the pressure on Saturday? That'll be really interesting if he has to make a pressure kick because right now he's 8-for-8 eight eight since he came in in the UTEP game, which was the week after Auburn, and he hit a 53-yarder against Oklahoma State last week. That was at the end of the game when he was already out of hand and he had the wind at his back, too, but they got him out there to see how far he could hit from I think they feel pretty good about him right now, but at the same time, he's a redshirt freshman. Literally every single kick that he's had the last couple weeks has been with real no pressure really in the game. So if it comes down to it, I think if you're a K-State fan, you're still pretty nervous to see what we're going to get out of Matthew McCrane. K-State hoping to extend its win streak to six after that home heartbreaker at the hands of Auburn Wildcats insider John Kurtz. Thanks for the time. Enjoy the game this weekend. All right, appreciate it.